Hello everybody, Lil Simmer here, and welcome to part 5 of the Sims 3 Build With Me series. And I went on the community tab last night and asked you guys if you wanted me to just pre-record the last couple of parts so I could get it out to you, or if you guys wanted me to continue going at a slow pace. And the majority of you guys um, said that you wanted me to just finish it, so I will be pre-recording the last couple of parts here and we are finally to the decorating part. I think the last part that I did we did up the the walls and stuff for the inside and we also did the backyard. It's not much of a backyard. It doesn't have a lot going on but you know it's it's simple. It's a simple starter home and and it looks like we're only at about 25,000 simoleons. So, so far, it's, it's pretty cheap. It's a pretty cheap home. So, I think we are going to start doing the fun stuff, which is the decorating. And as I said before, um, I'm going to make this um, just... Uh, I lost my train of thought. Um, it's going to be just base game and expansion pack stuff. So I do have some custom content things, but, you know, this is not going to be custom content at all. So whatever you store cut or whatever you guys want to use, if you guys have custom content, feel free to use it. Um, and I'm going to try to put things down with the move objects cheat off for the most part. If I, if I run into an issue and I have to then, you know, you can't really, you know, there's nothing really that you can do about that. But I think the first thing I want to do, I want to put a bench on the front porch. And this one, I really like this one, but it's a little bit too farmhousey for me. And this doesn't really strike me as a farmhouse. So I'm going to get rid of that. Hmm... How about we go to the outdoors section, go to outdoor seating. There's this one that came with pets. And there's, I know there's more. There's this one, but it's not really, it, it's too big. There's too much happening at once. Um, what about this one? It's base game. It's the Herc and Murr love seat. Hmm, let's see. Do you guys like that color or should we go... Ooh, I like that color. So it's a preset color. It's just this color right here. Boom. Look at that. We're already getting somewhere. So, I think I want to start with the kitchen because I'm not too sure what I want the layout of this to be. I'm not really sure what I want the the living room to look like right now. I'm thinking maybe we can put the the couch kind of right here and the TV and things right here. But I don't know yet. We'll get we'll we'll get there, guys, we'll get there. So we're going to start in the kitchen. So we're going to go to counters. And I think I want to use the 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 counters and stuff from pets. I have a few custom content ones, but I'm not going to use them. I, but I th yeah, I think the pets one is a good place, is a good one to do. And I think I'm just going to make it all white. So press the letter R on your keyboard. And we're going to collapse all the stuff. I think I want to keep the countertops like that. But I want to... Let's see if we can just make the wood white. No, I think I just want to make regular white. There we go. Actually, we need to make it a little bit brighter. There we go. Looks clean. Now we're going to copy it. So letter E. We're going to go around just like that. And maybe around that way. 
actually maybe we can put and then I'm gonna go in and get the stove that came with pets so we do that maybe if it'll connect there we go and then press letter R we're gonna make everything white Making everything white is just, it's something that I really like to do. Let's see if this will work. That works. It doesn't really have the same... It looks, the top of this looks different. So let's see if we can kind of match it. You see what I'm talking about? The, the top of that counter looks like it's a little lighter, a little darker than the rest of the We'll try our best to match it. There's the hex code to the top of the counter right there. Um, I didn't change the pattern or anything. I just changed the way the, the color looks. Because it looked darker. So we're going to accept it. And then... Hmm. I'm trying to think of where we can put... Maybe we can put that over here. And maybe get the pet's refrigerator and put it right there. Press the letter R. We're going to make this all white. You guys know the drill by now. You guys should know where everything is. Okay. And I'm going to get rid of that. I wonder if we can move this. Hold on. wonder if we can move that around. Like that. You guys think that looks good? <laughs> hmm. I like it. Alright, so we're gonna go to the cabinets now. And the cabinets are just gonna be, you know, the, the top cabinets up, up there. Um, I don't know what the difference between these are. What's the difference? Oh, I see the difference. So the difference between these, there's doors on, on both sides. So I'm guessing that's for like an island type of thing. I don't know if this is going to have an island. I guess we could try it and see what it looks like. So the the pet's countertops came with an island. So we can... We can try it and see what it looks like. We can just do one of these. And then press letter R. Then go there. Make it all white. Make it as white as you can. Accept. And then press letter E on your keyboard. And then, I did not mean to do that. Um, how you do the rotating part, you know, without having to move your mouse. The arrows that are next to the M key, just do that. That's how you do it. Just the arrows on your keyboard. You know what? I don't, I, I don't hate it. But you know what? I'm not going to put the, I'm not going to put the island counters there. Because for one, it doesn't work. <laughs> So cool, look at that. Let's look at our kitchen. It's starting to come together and it even lines up really good with it. And then we'll put some bar stools right here. Girl, we are getting somewhere. We might have to put move objects on for that just to make it look okay. All right, so let's go back to the kitchen and the cabinets. Let's get this going here, and then press letter R, and make it all white, that way it all matches. Press letter E. I don't want to put a, um, I don't want to put a cabinet over the window, because I have something else in mind for that. And press letter E. Hmm, for some reason, it's not letting me. 
There we go. Perfect. All right, we got some cabinets. We got some... We got our kitchen going here. So now, something that I really like to do, I like to go into the cabinets again. And there's this hanging pot rack in its base game. And I love... I love putting that here. And then press letter R. And we're just gonna make it white. Just to match everything. Um, since this house is like so small, or it's not small per se, but it's just, you know, it's different. It's like, it's smaller. I'm not gonna clutter it up. I'm gonna make it, you know, nice and clean. Um, so now we need a sink. And I'm not sure if if a sink came with pets or not. I'm not seeing one. This came with pets, but it doesn't really... That's more of a bathroom sink. We can use that later. So this one came with late night. Or we can even use a base game one. But I like the the slick feeling of that. And I'm not going to recolor it. Because it looks, it looks good the way it is. Um... Great, perfect. Now, I wonder if we can... Wonder you can put a coffee maker right here if you want to. And then we're gonna make it white like everything else. And then we can leave the black part like that. You know, put a coffee maker there. Keep in mind, though, that in order in order to force Sims to be able to cook, you need at least one free countertop space. So I just don't want to clutter this up too much. So what we can do, though, we can make this look a little better. Like over here, you can put... Um, you can put this over here. You can put that right there beside the the stove. You can even put you can put some like you know some paper towels there. Um, I think both of those are base game, and they're under um, miscellaneous decor. Um, let's see. I don't think, I don't think I want to put anything else on the countertops just because it's, you know, what we can do though, we can put can put some flowers like a little flower pot on the top of this and put it right there to make it look nice you know it doesn't go into the wall okay perfect now let's put some bar stools here these ones are really pretty. They came, they're, they're base game. Awesome. Um, I don't think any, I don't think any bar stools came with pets. Oh no, they did. Um, but you know what? I like these ones better. So we're going to make the outer part of it white. I wonder if we can keep the wood texture and it still look good. I'm not mad. Let me go to that. That color that that's that's gonna color the the seat the and the seating area. Let's see here. I think it's in here. Yeah. This is very farmhouse type thing right here. But I really I really like plaid, so we're gonna keep it. And then, if we want to control shift C, move objects on, just for this, just to make sure that we can have a seat there. Um, if you get into your game and your sims can't sit here, 
then just take it out. It's fine. Control shift C again. I'm gonna put move objects off. Alrighty. Now we have our kitchen. Actually, I think I want to put a rug right here. I think I'm just gonna keep it that color. I think that looks nice. Actually, I, like I wanna change the color of it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it as the carpeting and rugs, but I'm gonna make it a little darker. So if you want the hex code, it's right there. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna make it a little darker or a little lighter. Alrighty, there we have it, the kitchen. Although, I, I, I know I keep adding things. I'm gonna go into curtains and blinds and that'll be in the bathroom section. Um, there's some really pretty curtains that you can put right there. And it's base game. It's just these. The Vickleberry country curtains. And then if you want to press the letter R, we can make it white. And then we can make this a darker color. And that's perfect. You can finagle it and make it whatever color you want. But look at that. Doesn't that look pretty? All right. I know it's a very it's a very simple kitchen, okay? And what we can even do I can move this over. Um Yeah, we can move this over so we can put the dining room table and stuff there. Uh, I'm not going to make it a big dining room table. Um, maybe we'll put the dining room table over here. That way we have more room for the living room. No, I think that'll, I think this will be fine. So I'm going to move the door over a little bit. I know it's going to be like off center over here. Um, so what we can do in this corner though, something that I really like doing. Um, like going into the kids room and going into the pet essentials. And I'm going to get a dog bowl. I'm going to put it right here, and I'm going to grab the second one. And then we're going to go back into the kitchen. I know this is a little weird, but I want to see something here. We will get we'll get that. We'll put it beside there. And we'll go into the living room. Maybe we can that there. That way the rug boom. And then we can press the letter R. I like the color pattern. I like the flower pattern. So I'm going to leave it that, but I'm going to make it like a little white or a little gray. I'm going to make this a little darker, actually. I like that. Alright. Now, if we go into miscellaneous dec decor, I think it is. There is a little bag of dog food that came with pets. And that's what I'm looking for. 
I'm sorry I keep sniffling a lot. I think I might be getting sick. Okay, I'm not seeing it. Is it in? Maybe it's in the pet section. No. Hmm. Um, maybe if we go in, wouldn't be in sculptures, I don't think. Hmm. Well, maybe we won't put that in. I think that's just a extra step that I don't want to take. Alrighty. So we got that. We got that going. It's looking really good. So, let's move on to the dining room. This is going to be a really, um, really weird, really weird setup here. Um, yeah, this is going to be kind of difficult. Because I don't want it to interfere with the living room at all. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a tight squeeze. But if we put the table right there, maybe even a little bit further, I just want to make sure that the chairs will be will be there. So if we press the letter R on our keyboard, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make it white. Pull it up a little bit. Maybe even put it like that. Or even over here. But, but I just want to see if the... Yeah, see the chairs won't... Yeah, the chairs won't fit if we do that. So... Yeah, so I think that's probably, and you can probably hear my dog chewing on something. I'm so sorry if you can. If she's chewing on a bottle, she doesn't need to be chewing on that anyway. Alrighty, so we need to get, and this table came with pets. It's the rustically elegant dining table. And then this chair came with it. Let's press the letter R on your keyboard, collapse it. Go to miscellaneous and make it white. Press the letter E. We need to push we need to pull this out a little bit and that's gonna be kind of pushing it. Press the letter E just to make sure that a chair We need to go even further out, it seems. There we go. We go for as far as we can with that. There. That's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but we got it. So, I think I want to put a little plant collage here. This is probably one of my favorite things to do. Um, so we, we can take this one. It came with pets. We can even take this. And... Maybe... Well, that one won't work. You know what? Let's put move objects on so we can make it look a little, a little nicer here. I think this is base game, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, this is base game. 
that one came with pets, and that then that one's also a base game. Okie dokie. What we can also do Let's get some lights, and I really like using these lights. So I'm going to put one over here. I know it's not even, but it's fine. It is fine. It's perfectly a-okay. Now for curtains for the for the Actually, let's get rid of that. I have a better idea. Go in the bathroom. Go to the mirrors. There's a mirror that came with late night. Aha, it works perfect. I wonder if it will it fit on this wall. Hmm. It would, but I think I like it better over here. So put it right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Awesome. So yeah, that mirror came with late night. I think that's late night. It's a mirror of a thousand faces. Alrighty. And we can even press the letter E, copy this rug, and put it in front of the door. Perfect. Look at that. Now we're getting somewhere. Now for curtains for this one. I know this part is a little long. It's a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. Hmm. There's these ones. I think that looks good. And I think I'm going to keep the color the way it is. It seems to flow with the house. It's base game. It's the lofty curtains. And I'm going to put them over here as well. Okay, now for the difficult part, the living room. This is the part that I was not looking forward to because it's a very awkward living room. But I think we might be able to make it work, hopefully. This is a very weird shape living room. Actually, I think maybe... a very awkward shaped living room but let's see here first we need to figure out where, where we can put the TV so I'm gonna use this it's base game and let's see here maybe put it catty cornered maybe we can move down Oh, because I have uh, move objects on. I was wondering why that wasn't giving me any problems. I'm going to turn move objects back off. Because I want the sims to be able to get around. I don't know why it didn't work. Move objects off. There we go. But yeah, I was wondering why it wasn't giving me any problems. Alrighty. So... Yeah, this is really awkward. Put it in the corner like that, maybe. Or maybe we can put it... No, we can't. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. Maybe we can put... it by the stairs maybe it's a really awkward shaped living room I will give it that maybe put this catty cornered or maybe even more right there maybe yeah this is a very Very awkward shaped place. Now, 
Go into sofas and love seats. I really like the ones from Ambitions. Maybe put, put it like that. I know it's really awkward. Maybe put it like that. The couch that I used, it's the, where did I find it? It's this, the con the Colonel's couch. It came with ambitions and I'm just gonna keep it the same color. Alrighty, and I think a chair also came with ambitions. You can also use this wicker chair. I think I'm gonna use this. It also came with ambitions. I'm pretty sure it's the it's the chair that came with that set. You can put it right there. Maybe we can keep this over here, and then we can put like a something over here <laughs> but yeah this living room is very awkwardly shaped but it'll be fine maybe we could put a little end table right here I like this end table it's really pretty it just it came with seasons you can use any any and any table that you like really and then we can put a lamp on it if you like or you can put a plant on it I think I want to put a lamp on it though I like this one it came with seasons it goes with the table I think and then we can put a plant behind it like right here you know what I mean? So I think this part is really long and I'm not a fan of that so I think hmm. what was the one that I just had? We've already used this one somewhere. I'm gonna put this behind it. It looks pretty, looks nice. Um, I usually put a coffee table right here, but I don't think we're gonna have room for one. So I'm just gonna put a rug down. Um, and this game doesn't have very good rugs. So I'm gonna show you guys a trick. If you put this flying carpet down we can make it a really pretty wicker color. So if you push R on your keyboard. And then go to weave and wicker. Oh, that one's pretty. And we can make it a little darker. Maybe make it a little So that's the hex code for that. Actually, I think I want to make it. I think that one looks good. Um, there's the hex code for that one. Alright, so now we have this space, which is a little, little awkward, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe we do have room for a coffee table. There's one that I really like using. Um, I think this is from Showtime. I really like using it. It's really pretty. Just to fill in this area a little bit better. 
It's just the the class act something or other table. It came with Showtime, I'm pretty sure. So now we need to copy these lofty curtains and we can put them I'm I lied, we can't put them there. I think We need some kind of curtain for over here. Maybe, no. I wonder if we can, that'll work. There we go, I think that's how it's supposed to be anyway. And so then we can, the curtains that I, was the wide lofty curtains, it's the matching set to that. So we're gonna do that. Alrighty. And we can even go to the lighting, go to wall lamps. We can put a light on either side of that to make it look pretty. Your Sims should should have no problems getting up the stairs. Hopefully they hopefully they don't have any issues. Um so now it's just this space that we need to fill in. So I think we can go to the study and get a bookshelf of some kind. You can put a bookshelf right here and then in a really pretty uh, um, I want it to be big but I don't want it to be huge. I know I'm very indecisive, but I really want a bookshelf here. There was one that I seen that I really liked. Which one was it? Ooh, what about this one? This one's good. We'll do that. And then we'll make it, we'll keep it the wood color, but we'll make it like that color. You know what I mean? Bada boom. Alrighty, and now we can go to living room, get ourselves a nice chair. Does that look weird to you guys? You guys can decorate this however you want to, but this is just how I'm choosing to decorate it. Um, it didn't really, there's not really a, a, that, that, you know, much space to work with. Um, but I just want to get a really pretty chair to lounge in and to read in. I really like this one. It came with um, Generations. It's the Quiet Time Cottage Chair. And so we'll just put it like that. And press letter R. And we will make it... How about we make it a yellow color? Or like a peach color. And then... For these, let's make them, these are the pillows, let's make them, that's custom content, never mind. I kind of want to stick with the fabrics, because I don't want to go too overboard, but I want a nice pattern. What was the one I seen? This one? This one looks nice. We'll do that. Alrighty. So we got that. Maybe we can put some more wall lights over here. One right there. One right there. Actually, I'm not sure if I like that, that anymore. You can keep it if you want, but I think I'm going to go with this one. It's not too big, and it looks like it fits the house perfect, and the color is perfect, so. Perfect. Alrighty. So now, let's see if we can... We can even copy this rug. This rug underneath there. 
and then copy and paste and kind of there looks pretty looks pretty good okay so we can even put something on over here there's something that came with generations that I really want to put down it's a little shoe rack type of thing we are very very over the time that I wanted to do this but I have a lot of custom content. Well, I guess it's not that much, but it's still, it's still quite a bit. Where is that? There it is. It came, it came with the uh, generations, the Veronica shoe rack. I like putting that there. You can even. Put it catty cornered if you can. <laughs> but I'm gonna put that there. And we could even put this over here. Maybe. We'll, we'll keep it over here. And then we'll put a plant over here. Um. Oh, that's really big. <laughs> okay. Um. I think I'm going to use... This is really hard with no custom content. I think I want to put this here. Maybe. I don't know. Actually, I think I want to put another... Where is it at? Actually, I haven't used this plant yet. I'll use that. Pretty sure it came... It's just base game. It's the Philanderin. Alrighty, and we can put a couple of pictures on these walls, on each one of these walls, just to fill in the blanks here. I like these, the celebration of leaves. Um, it came with seasons. And you can, if you press down on the alt key and go up with your mouse, you can you can do that. You can make it go up and down. Um, I kind of want to put this over here. That's a really, it's a really pretty. Move it over a little bit. Really pretty. All right. So for this wall, I want to put. Using a lot of seasons and a lot of maybe that. I think that looks good. It's it came with pets, so full from any direction. And we can maybe try to make the wood look like the other one, possibly. It looks like it's a little bit more like that. I think that looks good. All right, so we got we got the kit or we got the downstairs all done, and I think I'm gonna end this part here. Let me know if I went too fast or, um, you know. And then if you want to, you can also screenshot how you decided to decorate the home, 
and um, I'm going to try to do the next part um, here soon, but I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope that um, this layout worked for you guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.